Hello everyone, I'm Abby J and welcome to Field to Fork. I'm on the farm today. It feels so good here. It's fall of the season, just a little bit of fall in the air. It's September. So we have so much in store for you. And what I have first is what's in season and it's apple season. Apples, there's so many varieties at Ingalls. I just got back from Ingalls getting uh, two or three of my favorites. And what I've done, I've cleaned these apples with the apple cider vinegar. You want to make sure you clean your apples, but two Two of my favorites that I use all the time is the Granny Smith and the Honey Crisp. These hold up in baking. You can bake with them. You, what I've done here is I've dried some of the fruit. My grandmother and I used to spend hours drying fruit. It makes a perfect little snack for people that don't want a, a lot of sugar and preservatives. So we dried these. Um, what I, I, I use an oven. I don't need a dehydrator. So the oven, if you get the oven at 215 for about three or four hours, you'll come out with this. It's an apple chip and I've jarred it. Makes a great little gift to gift. Um, and again, you can pop it in a lunch box for your kids, but this is easy to do, a fun activity. And my next one is what I entertain with here at Blackhawk. My clients really love something healthy and this is very healthy. I sliced up some pears and some apples. I've also soaked them in lemon juice and water so they don't turn brown. So you don't want your fruit turning brown. You want it to stay very pretty on the platter. You get a block of cream cheese and then you dig a little well. I've got the caramel and some uh, candied cashews and that is gorgeous and it makes a beautiful pre presentation and you can do that for any time of the year because angles they have so many varieties and I love that because you know you, you, you want you want choices and they make it easy for me so uh, that's what I have here and I'm going to come back and talk about our entrepreneur Denise Smith we'll be right back Welcome back, and I am representing our entrepreneur, Denise Smith. She is an educator, a potter, an artist, and she could not be here today. She is teaching at Carnesville Elementary School, but this is a work of art. I just love all of her pieces. She was here this summer, and she uh, did a class on turtles, and it was fabulous. We had 25 in the class. She is my dear friend, and I want you to know she not only does this, but she does a lot of mushrooms, turtles, mugs. I mean, it's just a great way to fill your home with some really nice pieces. They're timeless. They're one of a kind. She also sells her pieces at Mark of the Potter, but uh, if you want to contact her, here's her information, and we thank you so much, Denise, for sharing your love for pottery you're so creative and i know uh, everybody's going to enjoy one of these pieces or maybe two or three of these pieces in their home and i really compliment you and your uh, talent uh, you, you, you've done a great job and we'll be right back Oh my gosh, where did you get this? I got it at Ingalls. No, you didn't. Yep, Ingalls. No way. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the Ingalls Bakery. Okay, fine, don't tell me. You might not know this, but at the Ingalls Bakery, we actually bake things like crusty breads, delicious apple fritters, cakes for any occasions. It's all in the bag. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. I made them myself. No, you didn't. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and I have my Eagles table guests, Susie and Clark Neal from Unicoi Preserves. They are here to share a beautiful platter with us, and welcome to the show. Happy, thanks so much for having us. We're so glad to be here to share our delicious grazing board. Awesome. Yeah, we picked up all these great ingredients in the deli, in the produce section, in you the specialty cheese area. You know, they have so area. much wonderful stuff. Every time I go in there, it's like, 
what's new, you know? You what's have, new, exactly. Yeah. Ingalls is always getting new things in. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you one of the things that really helped Clark and I when we were traveling so much, mm -hmm. pre-cut produce. Absolutely, I mean, time saver, right? The best. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start building our board. Mm -hmm. It's colorful. That's pretty. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Mm -hmm. We're calling this a grazing board because we're doing, we what got some got? delicious oh Abby God. J's black beans. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing a little elements of sweet and savory on this board. So it's nice. not just a straight cheese board or a straight uh, mez platter or something like that. We've got some chips. We've got some salsa. I love those chips. They make them fresh in the Ingalls Deli every day. We get those. Day. John picks up two bags every time he goes <laughs> by it through there. And I'm like, gosh, you know, uh, more, more, more. <laughs> it's more, always more, more, more of the, the freshness of Ingalls Deli and what they have there and the cheeses, all the different cheeses too. So I've also got some of our Unicoi Preserves cherry jalapeno spread. That's I'm one putting of my over favorites. this cool pyramid of goat mm -hmm. cheese. Oh. So this is traditional cheese and crackers mm -hmm. for our board. So we've got elements of sweet and savory, like I said, which are gonna pair really great with various types of wine because I think we should take we this live board in wine country. Yeah, I, I, well, we're gonna go somewhere with the board shortly. Oh, I That's can't a secret. Wait. Yeah, we don't want to no, talk we don't, about we don't, it. We're not gonna yet. tell you yet. <laughs> we're going somewhere with the board to celebrate. Celebrate fall. Fall is full of festivals, tailgating. This is a beautiful board to do all those special events and, and it's a time saver too which I love. It sure is and I wanted to give our viewers a little tip. Anytime that you're mm -hmm. traveling whether it be to a vineyard to a tailgate try and look for platters and things that you aren't attached to too much. We like to use things that aren't going to get broken in the car so right. that way you don't have to wrap it up too much. I picked this up at an estate sale and I just love it because it's got handles. handles. But if you mm -hmm. don't have a big tray like this, a lot of times Ingles in the seasonal section, they will get different things in. So I know they're putting out the fall things a, right now. Yeah, I bought a 4th of July tray. Yes. Yeah, and it's a very, very affordable to do that. It's festive. Yes. I mean, they, but I love this. Yes. This is nice. Yeah. Yes. And we've also got some beautiful olives and marinated cheeses that came uh -huh. right off of the Ingalls Olive Bar. Gosh, so you see it. how easy, we're just sitting here talking as we're building this board. This is super easy to put together. You pick up the things that you want, uh, add, fill in with fruit. You've got some crunchy elements. We've got chips, we've got crackers, mm -hmm. all sorts of different things to dip with. We picked up some pre-made Ingalls spreads. We've got some of their pimento cheese, some of their artichoke dip and some of these beautiful little self-serve, uh, self individual-serving hummus. They've got a ton of different hummus available Absolutely. in the store. So just pick up the things that you like, bring things that look colorful. We're gonna make all your people wanna eat everything that we got. Well, I think Ingles is, was with you every step of the way, right? They sure <laughs> were. And what we didn't touch on was the bulk section, y'all. If oh you gosh. want just like a little bit of sweet treat mm -hmm. to build in your board, if you want some nuts, the variety of angles in the bulk section. This might not make it home. Well, <laughs> you know. when, when, I, when I'm starving and I buy stuff like this, this might not make it home. But Put anyway, it in your cup holder while you're yeah. driving where well, you're going. Just saying, it so, could happen. Yeah, that's right, Susie. We all did a beautiful job on this, and Thank don't you. forget. Uh, if you can't make it to the store, we also have a digital online version of the Ingalls Table magazine. Yeah. Uh, there's also a library of videos, tips, tricks, everything to make your life easier and to share these recipes with your family. And we're going to go somewhere uh, shortly. I, I think I'm going to take them with me. <gasps> oh. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you, but are you ready? <laughs> Oh yeah. We just have to pack this back up. <laughs> pack this back let's up and we'll that. be ready to go. Let's All do right. It. Well, let's do it. Abby. We'll be right back. It's time to discover the convenience and time savings of contact-free pickup with Ingalls Curbside. Just visit shop.ingalls-markets.com or download the app. And your Ingalls personal shopper gets to work with specialized training on how to select the freshest items for a pre-scheduled pickup. They'll even text you with updates. You pull up to a designated space and your personal shopper delivers your items right to your vehicle. Fresh, fast, and affordable. It's all in the bag. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings. Welcome back and what a beautiful day to come up to Terra Incognita. This is my travel part of the show and we're going to go meet the owner. So come on. 
So here we are at Terra Incognita with two of my favorites, Torsten and Sarah Ernst. And I'm so happy to be here today. And when we interviewed you guys last time, you were in my kitchen. And today we're on site, and I love what you've done here. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we made some big progress. Uh, we built a new building, a new winery and tasting room. Uh, it's called the Geodesy Roundhouse um, for really cool reasons, but I'll spare you from that. Um, and we also have done the proof of concept. So we built, you know, original uh, pavilion on the other mountainside and proof that people actually drive up the mountain to come see us. So we're really excited about that. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of reasons why they do that, right, Sarah? Absolutely, Abby. I'm so glad you guys were able to make it today. Um, so here, the new building just opened in May, end of May. Um, and when you're up here, it's great. We've got our temperatures are typically 10 degrees cooler. So everybody says Raven County where spring spends the summer. And this summer that has definitely held true. Um, we haven't gotten above what, 85 degrees? I totally agree because I, I there's not as much humidity as there was at Blackhawk today when we were filming. And I just love it. The breeze, everything you've done here is just fantastic. Thank you, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you come up and um, we just have these great views. I know we're gonna look later outside, um, but we're having a great time. We've had a lot of weddings mm -hmm. and other um, fun events. We've had a few bridal showers and other things in the pavilion. Um, so we'll look at that, but we're using that exclusively for events now and our tasting customers are able to enjoy this new building. I love it. It's octagon, right? It's a I think it's got 20 sides, so I don't know, like a double decahedron. I don't, I don't know what exactly the sides are, um, but yeah, it appears basically round, and you've got mountain views from here all the way through. You can see all the way to Mount Currahee and Tacoa. Um, so you don't miss a thing, right? No, it's yeah. great. Even when you're indoors, if it's chilly or too hot, um, it's nice to be able to come in and still enjoy the views up here. Well, I can see why you wanted this type of building, because it's really uh, functional because you've got other uh, activities going on, right? Absolutely, yeah, we've got a bunch of trails. Um, Torsten and his brother Chris have been working hard to put in uh, mountain biking trails and hiking trails. And so we're a kid-friendly, dog-friendly place people can come up. We're hoping um, to really help showcase the outdoors and allow people to come enjoy these beautiful mountains and then come enjoy some food and wine when they're done. So we were here Sunday and I really love uh, seeing all the people coming from the hiking trails and they really got a, a, a really good hike or bike in if they're biking. How long is that trail? So there's lots of options. Um, our largest loop trail is a six mile loop through the National Forest, um, but there are shorter loops on the property. Um, Torsten can probably answer better since he's the one who's been mapping them all out. Um, but the goal is to have it be similar to um, if anybody's done hiking in Europe where you can hike like hut to hut. Um, we had guests from Ukraine just last weekend who said this reminded them of um, tea houses there where you can um, hike and then not have to carry a huge pack with tons of provisions because you can get to a place. So um, that's the goal here and we hope that people can come and have that kind of experience. Well you've created such a wonderful uh, venue for lots of different activities and that's what I love about it and you've got some of your wines here. Let's talk about the wines. Yeah, okay. We've got, these are some three of our kind of most popular ones. Unfortunately, we're out of the Traminette, which is one that we make ourselves. But well, that's a good thing, right? That's a great problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. about that. <laughs> yeah. um, but then uh, what we have here is a Merlot. It's called Cardinal Direction. And uh, this is very popular, particularly, I would say, in the wintertime when it's a little bit colder. Uh, these two here are very popular in the summer. I mean, it's nice to have a chilled wine. Uh, this is our True North, which is a Chardonnay. It's very similar to a Chardonnay, except it has some American blood in it, which it looks makes like some it. Rose. Is that this is the rose. That's the rose. Yep. You're Compass talking about rose. this one. So then, I'm talking right? about this one right here. Okay. Yep, and that's a white. It's I'm just sorry. A, Go ahead. It's just a nice, uh, easy drinking white. Um, it seems like people like it across the board. If you like sweeter wines, it seems like people can tolerate it happily. You probably need more than like... one bottle, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in fact, when I come out of the fields in the evenings, it's nice that, to have a bottle of that. Is that's that your go-to? Go for it. Yeah. And nice. you know, I've been drinking that one for years, and I'm, I still like it. So right. that's a, that's a good sign. 
Uh, and then, you know, it's nice to mix it up with a rosé. So it's a very light uh, rosé. Um, it's actually one of the favorite ones that I've drank anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, like that one's just a tad bit sweeter off dry than most rosés, and I feel like it just has more fruit and more flavor than um, other rosés. Torsten, what a beautiful showcase of your wines. I can't wait to try those, and I see we've got a charcuterie board. I was here Sunday, and I got to try all of this, and you not only have, you know, really nice cheese, but you've got chocolate and uh, olives and other things in there in case people don't uh, bring something, right? Yeah, that's right. If you come all the way up here, you want to be able to have some food. And uh, this is what we have, and it's uh, actually surprisingly uh, filling. And so we've had a lot of good response on this. And um, you know, people often share one plate between a couple folks. And if you're really hungry, you can buy as many as you want, right? Well, we so. had some to take uh, home with us, so mm -hmm. it was it was enough for two, maybe three people, I think. And what a what a nice gesture to have here in case they don't have their own spread, right? Yep. And at the same time, I mean, it's totally fine if people want to bring their own picnics. Uh, they People do that a lot and you can grab a group of people and bring chicken and salad and mm -hmm. whatever and yeah we don't have a problem with that so that's you know we encourage people to enjoy the outside, um, use the, the facilities inside if you want to stay a little bit cooler in the summer or warmer in the winter right. but yeah it's a good place to have a picnic whether you buy our stuff or bring your own food. So Sarah tell us about some of the events here. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, so we do a lot of great events over in our 2,000 square foot event pavilion. It feels a lot more connected to the outdoors, so for people who want an outdoor event um, but with some coverage, that's what we have going on over there. It's where we were doing our tastings for any customers who came up prior to this Memorial Day weekend, 2023. Um, and so we do a lot of weddings, but we do other events. Um, we do high school graduations, we've done some bridal showers. How about reunions? My reunion was up here and everybody really, really enjoyed being here. They liked the the view, they liked the just, you know, being away from everything. It's, it's really nice when you can get back off the road and, and see something so beautiful as your vineyard and it, it really is a sight to see. Thank you, Abby, and it's a, it's a very nice place to feel private, right? You're, two, three miles from the nearest property as the crow flies. So um, you're on this mountaintop by yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have some ticketed events for people who aren't looking to host their own private event. Uh, we did a Mother's Day brunch back in May, and then we have a harvest dinner coming up November 4th. Well, that sounds wonderful. Who's the chef? Alex Stein, he's with the local mm -hmm. chef, and um, uh, guests will be able to sample the grapes and then taste the wine to taste how you can see those flavors melding and then Alex has a great menu for us so that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun and what a way to really get into the fall season. I can't wait to come up here. I'd like to come to that event. I really would because I love wine dinners and uh, pairing and learning more about your wines and I'm sure everybody else will uh, be invited too, right? Yes, this Abby, we'd we'll love to see you. It'll be a lot of fun. This is an open event though, right? It's not a private Yes, absolutely. We're going to have, it's going to be a ticketed event. And so um, stay tuned. You'll be seeing those tickets on our website and social media as well. So thank you guys for sharing the wines and the charcuterie. We're going to now go outside and check out uh, the scenery outside. It looks gorgeous. And you've done a really fantastic job with this building. Thanks, Abby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Hey, Susie and Clark. I knew I was following you somewhere. Yeah, how beautiful is this? This is so beautiful. And what a beautiful spread. Thanks for bringing us along with you. This is awesome. Awesome. It was awesome. So easy all from Ingalls. Well, well, this is a very beautiful view. Uh, Sarah, can you tell us more about the view behind us? Thanks, Abby. Absolutely. Yeah. So this was Torsten's brother Chris's great idea was this large deck over the Traminette vines. Um, so our guests can sit here and look out over. We've got 3,000 grape vines behind you. The Traminette are right here. And that's a beautiful white wine related to Gewurztraminer. We've got Chamberson. And in the background, you can see Cabernet Sauvignon and Petite Mansang grapes. So um, it's a beautiful place to sit, enjoy the mountains. You can see Mount Currahee in the background and the mountains of North Carolina in this direction. I'd like to thank everyone for being on the show today. It's been a great time. And I'd like to thank Susan Clark and Torsten and Sarah. Amazing place to come and visit. And we will see you next time. <music>